This water is teeming with venomous snakes. Let's go for a swim. Right now I'm with an animal that most people would be afraid of, and rightfully so. This is the copperhead. Um, this is one of North Carolina's most common venomous snakes. If you notice though, he's still got the chartreuse green on his tail, which is a symbol that he's still a baby, and they use that for what's called caudal luring. Um, now a lot of people think that all good snakes are dead snakes, and I think that that is the worst thing ever. Even this venomous snake, even though it could potentially um, cause you a lot of pain and it could even kill somebody within their venom within the enzymes of their venom um, it can have the cures to things like cancer now if we think about this as like a person you know Christians most people that aren't Christians are kind of afraid of Christians because of what comes out of our mouth so a lot of times what comes out it's not love it's not things that can cure or save people like the gospel of Jesus it's usually condemnation and things that uh, would seem venomous to someone that's not a believer and it's, it doesn't seem like it's coming out of a place of love. Instead of thinking of him as an evil or a bad animal, God created him and he's very good. Think about all the positive things that can come out of this animal. And just like you as a believer, think about instead of being venomous to somebody, try to love them, try to love them into the kingdom. And yes, tell them the truth and tell them about sin, but walk with them, walk with them. It says we need to be ambassadors of Christ and we need to be Christ-like. And, and like the representation we've used before, if it's sin, we don't want to get too close to it because it can sink its fangs into us. Um, but we're not going to do that. It's just a beautiful animal and he's got such a great purpose and he's very good. All right, this is a praying mantis. And he's a leaping praying mantis. He's full of joy. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. You're like, okay, he's going to talk about praying. Check it out. No, I'm not. Praying mantis. Looks like they're always out praying, right? Everybody's like, oh, he's got to be he's got to be religious. He's got to be good with God, right? But a praying mantis, like this one's probably a female. It looks like she's all, she's innocent and praying. And then she goes home and chews her husband's head off. Check this guy out. This is a green tree frog, Hyla Sanera. Now look at him blending in completely with his background. Now I believe he was designed to fit in perfectly with his environment. Some people say he evolved this way, but I believe that God designed each and every animal to fit each specific niche. Isn't it great though? Look how beautiful this animal is. Now this is a fence lizard. Some people call it a fence swift. Uh, oh no! Some people call him really swift. <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> All right, so like we were saying, this is the fence uh, swift or fence lizard. Now, lizards have a crazy ability to where if they're threatened by a predator, they can regenerate their tail. So if you pull it off, a lot of times they'll release their tail in an effort to like distract the predator. So he'll focus on the tail wiggling away and the lizard will run off. Uh, later on down the road, his tail will grow back and regenerate. Kind of like when we accept Jesus inside of our hearts, we regenerate, we become born again, we become a new creature and a new person and so our old person kind of dies out and we grow into this new person in Christ. Right now, there are a bunch of toads just like this guy right here that are in love because right now they're calling for mates. The female is about twice the size of the male. It's hurting my ears, it is so loud in here. It's What we have here is a cotton mouth. Now this snake is very venomous. This is the cotton mouth snake. It is also called a water moccasin. Now the Latin name is a Kishardon piscivorus, which means hook tooth fish eater. 
Now, like I said, this snake is very venomous. It produces a very painful bite, but he's good. Like I said, God said in Genesis 1, all things he created are very good, especially this snake. He's, a, he's an aquatic predator, so he eats uh, everything from frogs to fish to snakes um, to mammals. Pretty much anything he can get his hands on, he'll eat it. And I said hands. He don't have no hands. This is a cotton mouth snake. <laughs>